that I'm carrying a girl. It's six in the morning and the rising and spirit woke me up. And I went to the bathroom and I just started just bawling. And I came to my baby's room and I had a really good conversation with my sister, guys, Allison, last night. And she's been telling me that, and I, I've known that there's things that I need to release in order to let this baby come through. Everything about this pregnancy, even before I got pregnant, it's all about release. Like, I had to release to even get this baby. One day, me and Mike were just sitting on our couch and we were just staring and we couldn't I mean we kept trying to get pregnant and nothing was happening after three years but we hadn't talked about it we hadn't confronted it we hadn't released it you know when you're just something's in the back of your head but you're not like saying it but it's there and as soon as we spoke it and we released the fear, we released it and we talked about it, it was like three weeks later, I was pregnant. So as I'm in the last run of this pregnancy and I'm so just ready, I'm tired, my fingers hurt, my feet hurt, my body is aching, I'm, I'm tired. I'm like ready. And even in this pregnancy, I've been, in fact, since I've been pregnant, it's been more, more women have come, more stories, more traumas, more hearing and listening and, and taking that on, you know, I'm not just a therapist, I like literally energetically take on the pain, so of course it, it can like affect you, <laughs> like for real, especially as an impact. It affects you. Like, I cry in these sessions with these women. Like, it's, it's real. One of the common themes is molestation and sexual abuse. From brothers, fathers, even, like, cousins, uncles. Even some women have been abused by their mothers and grandmothers. I mean, it's bad. It's really, really, really bad. Like, it's bad. The amount of women that have gone through that within our community. Like, it's bad. It's bad, y'all. Like, if I've had 300 sessions, and let's say there's 300 women. Out of those 300, maybe, maybe only nine weren't sexually abused in some way. Like, it's bad. So... That has brought up major fears. Like, I'm so scared. I'm like, I don't want anything like that to happen to my baby. And it's a fear. It's such a fear. It's a fear. And it's like, it's, it's just been in my subconscious. And I cannot bring 
this baby into this world with that. I can't do it. And then, like, the whole Save the Children movement and all of that coming out more and more and more during this global awakening, like, what they do to kids and the pedophilia, the 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 trying to target children to rip and strip them away from their innocence. Like, that shit scares me bad. Bad. And I have to release it. Like, I even started noticing, like, I had fears towards, like, people close to me. Like, what if they hurt my baby? What if they do something? And I can't be like that. I cannot be paranoid. I can't be like that. Or controlling like that. I don't want to be like that. So I had to release. I had to. I had to. Spirit like woke me up. And I woke up and my fingers were just like swollen and hurting. And like I was just in pain. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Like, oh baby, what's going on? Why won't you come? What is it? And it was like, mommy... You got to release. You have to let go. I can't come through until you let go. So writing is such a release to me. I've written like a whole letter, and I'm gonna confess this to Mike as well. I release this with him. I just, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. You know, I often wonder, like, why do I have to be the one to go through all this deep shit? Like, (laughs) so many women can just get pregnant and have babies and, like, it's like, whatever, you know? But for me, it's like this deep (laughs) loophole I gotta go through of emotional and mental (laughs) release but I'm thankful hopefully later this will be used as a testament and a testimony and um, a way to help women that may be like me you know that are afraid we have to release fear we have to trust we have to trust We have to trust. We have to trust that there's divine assignments on all of our lives, even the lives that we birth. We have to trust that they have their own unique path that's designed for them. And yes, our job is to protect and to love and to nurture, but it's also to allow them to experience life you know while shielding them from the perversions of this world you know my baby is the safest it will ever be inside of my womb but it's like there's only so much my body can take (laughs) like I'm like hey you gotta come out (laughs) eviction time is here you gotta come out so so we'll see what happens, you know. And then I have to resolve in my mind, like, I'm not doing this so that the baby can come out. I'm doing this to release so that when my child comes out, I'm free. I'm not, I'm not projecting those fears onto my child by being controlling and just overprotective and crazy and just paranoid like I cannot be like that that's just I'll drive myself I will drive myself crazy being like that no she can't go over to Mimi's house no she can't go over to Nana's house no I don't know who's gonna be there no no like that's crazy I can't be like that I can't be like that and that's where I was going like I was heading down that that road so It's July 13th. We'll see what happens.
maybe this release will bring the baby through. Maybe the baby's like, okay, now, mommy, now we're ready. Now it's time. We'll see. We'll see. And this doesn't mean that I'm not going to be guarded over my child and protective. I'm super protective. My baby is protective of of itself. I can tell, like, <laughs> this child is... <laughs> Man, we took that sonogram. That baby was like, mm, no cameras on me, bitch. <laughs> so, but, you know, I still like, if anything ever happens to my child, I will kill someone. I will kill over my baby. But I am the co-creator of my reality. And I don't accept any of that into my space. I release that fear. It's no longer a fear. It no longer holds me. It no longer holds me. I release paranoia. I release control. I release fear of motherhood. And I rise into trust. I rise into allowance. I rise into divine motherhood. Ashe.